Hello, this is Harold coming to you again. And I wanted to bring up some stuff for you. You know, you don't need uh, TV, cable, or any of that to get the news and stuff anymore. You can do everything on YouTube. But uh, one thing I wanted to ask you to do is while you're viewing the video, please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. That way when I do more videos, you know, you can see what's going on and all that. But you know, a lot of states have uh, lotteries, but Illinois, that, that state's broke. They don't have no money. So their lottery, they're using that to pay the bills to keep the state going. But the problem is, if you win the lottery or win big money in Illinois, you're not going to get paid. You might get paid sometime down the road, but from what I understand, there's getting ready to be some lawsuits because the state of Illinois is using lottery money for something other than the lottery and the ticket holders are saying that they're not getting paid and they're asking for a 5% interest as long as uh, Illinois holds the money and don't pay them. So that's one thing. The other thing at Walmart uh, the, the stock is dropping like crazy. Uh, I don't know what it is this afternoon, but this morning it was down, you know, a little bit. Yesterday it lost $5 a share, something to that effect. And uh, they're just losing to Amazon and eBay. I mean, I buy and sell a lot of electronic stuff, and everything I buy, I buy from eBay. I haven't really gotten into the Amazon thing yet. But I'm checking it out. I might buy something. I might start, start buying stuff from Amazon. But Walmart is so hard to deal with. And, you know, the parking and getting in and out of the store and in the service, you know, it's just not a friendly atmosphere. So I don't go to Walmart. So, um, you know, if, if you're looking to buy stuff, I would suggest you check the Internet and check eBay and uh, Amazon and see if you can find what you're looking for. Because I always, when I do search, I search for stuff that is free shipping and, you know, and in the United States. I have bought some stuff from China, but uh, I try to buy stuff in the United States and free shipping. And by the time you do that, you're going to get a better deal than you can get even at Walmart. So, moving on to other things. Uh, Israel. Uh, you know, now they got uh, these Palestinians attacking people in the streets in Israel and they're stabbing people with knives and stuff. And, you know, I'm not an advocate of gun control or not gun control. I, I think things that are going on with guns is, uh, is a shame. I, I fully believe in the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. but. You know, people that shouldn't have them shouldn't have them. I don't know how you determine that. But but in, in Israel, so all these people are getting stabbed with knives. Are we going to, uh, you know, should they outlaw all the knives in the whole country? I, that's not going to happen. But uh, but they're, they've got a problem there. So if you haven't heard about it on the news, because our local news and stuff don't cover a lot of international news. I'll tell you something else, too. Al Jazeera News, if you have cable TV, or if you have an internet uh, TV box and streaming over the internet, you can get Al Jazeera radio and TV. And they'll, that's where you're gonna find out what's going on in other parts of the world and, uh, and, and see what's really going on. But, uh, and another thing, uh, uh, Cuba, you know, we're, you know, we've had John Kerry go to Cuba and make it nice with Cuba and everything. And, and I support trying to uh, resolve our issues with Cuba, but um, Cuba is now sending fighters to Afghanistan to fight with the Russian army. So if Russia is in Afghanistan and they're fighting against the rebels that America has given weapons to to try to defend themselves, and then Cuba is gone and working with the Russian 
military to fight against the people that we're supporting. Does that mean that America is in war again with Russia and Cuba? I mean, if you think about it, it's just, it don't make sense that we would have people there fighting one way and Russia has people there fighting a different way and we're doing this and if, if we're fighting each other in Afghanistan, whether it's our troops or either uh, rebels that we're backing in America, then we're at war with Russia. So I know nobody else is saying that, but on the face of things, that's what's happening. So anyway, I just wanted to bring you a little news about Illinois, Walmart, Israel, Cuba, and I'll have some other stuff coming up later. And, uh, it, you know, depending on if I get a lot of likes and a lot of comments on the video, then I'll bring you some more stuff. If not, I'll move on to something else. Anyway, this is Harold, and I'm with WorldTVOnDemand.com. Check out my website, and I hope this information is valuable to you. Please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the video, and uh, I'll have another video for you soon. This is Harold. I'll talk to you later.